Hello again. Today's question is, well, it relates to my book. It's, who is your book aimed at? Um, so just to clarify, this is the book we're talking about. Um, it's the first book I've written. Um, I'm writing another one at the moment, hence the clarifying which book we're talking about, because you might be watching this in the future. And uh, so this book is all about the process of design. So in a sense, um, I found there was no need to replace, to repeat uh, what other people had already done. So there's a lot of really good books around um, permaculture design uh, in specific particular places. So often the idea of a design process has been touched on a little bit in books, but many permaculture books focus specifically on techniques. There might be some specifically to do with gardening, market gardening, forest gardening, um, built environment things and so on. So this one was very much about filling a gap. Um, the permaculture design courses that I teach, um, I teach two week residentials and that's a very focused kind of course. Uh, it doesn't suit everybody. Sometimes people can't get two weeks off. Um, and I was, so I also do one over six weekends in the spring, uh, usually at least one of those. And I've been doing those for uh, quite a long time. And when I first started doing them, I realized what was happening was that people were going away um, after a weekend, having been given something to, to think about, to do at home, maybe observe their garden, think about the soil and so on. And uh, then they came back two or three weeks later and they'd forgotten what they were supposed to do. And so what I did was create little worksheets for them to take away each week so that when they came back, they were really clear about what they were supposed to do and they'd come back and the, everybody was on that next stage so we could keep going through the process together. And so uh, those worksheets got fine-tuned over a number of years and, uh, and eventually got compiled and turned into the book. Now the book is a significant expansion of the worksheets, but not so much so that it doesn't fit into a fairly small package that could go in a big pocket or a small bag. The idea is that it's always intended to be portable so you can carry it around and take it with you on site. So it's very much designed as a book that is there to remind you in any particular situation of design what is the next bit that you're supposed to do and it's written to be as succinct as possible but without losing anything important and it's all about how things connect together so whilst I talk about zones and sectors a little bit I don't go into great detail there's the idea that rather than put lots of basics in here um, I'd rather leave the basics to other books, beginners guides to permaculture and assume that people have read those already or done some basic training, maybe gone on a weekend or watched a few videos just to get the essence of what they're all about um, rather than make this book twice as thick by putting them in here. So um, it's not a, an, a super advanced guide from the perspective of having to learn lots and lots of things but it's useful to you to have some sense of what different techniques might be, what the zones and sectors are, um, the ethics and so on and so forth. And this puts it all into a framework, if you like, provides a map. Um, and I say it's, it's one way, it's one framework, and you can make up your own framework. But the whole point is to say, if you're in a particular place and you're wanting to get to this other place, like any journey, I'm here now, I can look at what I have around me, um, these are my needs. These are the things that are working well. These are the things that are not working so well. How do I get from here to a place where all of that is better? And this provides a series of questions, um, little blocks of um, work, if you like, for you to look at in order to follow through a process to get to that place. And it puts into a, f a flow, if you like, um, all the different things that I'd learnt on my permaculture design course back in 1996 that I knew to be to do with permaculture but didn't really have a sense of how it fitted into that process of going from where I am to where I want to be. Where do I use the ethics? Where is it useful to use the principles or do you um, apply zoning and so on? And as I discovered, sometimes in more than one place. <laughs> so 
So that's the book. It's not a beginner's guide, but it's also not super advanced. But for people who do have a lot of Pembroke culture experience, hopefully there's also some subtleties in here that will um, add to your understanding as well. Hopefully you'll find it useful.